Hello, and welcome once again to Cult of Tea and Dice Let's Plays. Uh, Bloody is here once again. He's me. Bloody Sony by himself is in the third person. It's worrying. So we're here for the third and final part of the Charnel House Trilogies, Exhale. So, last time we were on a train, and then the train was in dirt, and then everyone was a bag. So, let's see where we go from there. Ugh, I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. That was pretty rude of me, actually. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. Whoa, god damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. I should go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around, ask him where the other guy's cabin is, or just see if there's a bar. We're moving fast. The snowy countryside is beautiful. I don't recognize where we are. Nice, comfy seats. Well, she's definitely not on British Rail then. A cute doggy! He looks like my model dog. Wait, where did I leave that? Ah, oh, crap. A steam train. It looks exactly like the one I'm on. Maybe it is. There's a plaque at the bottom. It says, Old Gloria's Inaugural Trip, December 1988. Hold on, 1988 is not that old for a steam train. It's possibly a spring chicken of a steam train. Americans. Hey! Evening, Lassie. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... she's... kind of ancient, right? Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So she's not really the same train at all, then? She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, you youngins don't want to be listening to Olgan on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. Oh, no. <laughs> not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tat. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh yeah? Like what? Oh, just your usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun time. So, anything I can help you with, miss? You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, actually. Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? I was surprised when I saw it. Aye. I like the night shift. Nice and quiet. Less so tonight, mind. My doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. He won't sit still. Surprise he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still, he did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. So, the port town we're headed to... Aye. Quaint little Nibawamset. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, so you'll be crossing with us? Aye, I've got some time off. You got family there? Aye, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. 
Yeah, I, I bet she does. So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Hi. Off to go to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea Mold Home Island had any historical secrets like that. Here. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Wait, wait. His name isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes. Aye? <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Aye, they all do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh, yeah, I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly, especially now I know he's Kat's boss. He's in 1B, but hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Ask me to wake him in an hour, so I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay, cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd, the barman. Runs the bar? No, seriously. It's open, if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some what? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Okay, sure. Catch you later, Don. Or a conductor who is a bag. Dun dun dun. But seriously. My train tickets. Yes. Okay. Inviting, but okay. Insightful, even. I knew what I meant. I said a word. She looks weirdly like me. Uncannily so. That's so cool. I should ask Dawn about her sometime. The canvas looks lumpy. Like there's something behind it. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. Perhaps you should get your bare hands. Let's see, because there's gold hands. No, never mind. Hello? Floyd? Anyone? Hmm. No sign. Oh, sounds like he's out back. I'll wait then. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the diners? Oh, look. Someone's left a Bloody Mary lying around. I shouldn't. Should I? No, you shouldn't, because it's fucking tomato juice and that's gross. No, fuck it. Well, it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, that's thoughtful. And creepy. No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. Voldemort. No, you're not Voldemort. You're not Voldemort at all. Uh, hi. Hey. A small girl dressed in a ballet outfit. She looks very sad. There's only one bag here. Is this girl traveling alone? Inside the bag. A music box. It's playing a beautiful melancholy waltz. A lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns go. Not all lanterns look the same to you. You just got a lantern racist. Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm... 
I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. True. What are you, four? Five? I'm eight, actually. Oh, well, we're almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nipawamzet? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Oh. <sighs> actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look so sad? I... No, actually. He... He'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Grown-ups are weird. Yeah. Don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown-ups. Weird. Yep. Ain't that right, kid? So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. Also, Kat realized she was a cat, and therefore couldn't write or draw comics. Meow. Okay, I'm sorry, that was fucking awful. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. I hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh, man. That takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it, too. Didn't work, though. The other girls didn't like me. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. I like your necklace. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? Gross. Uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. But there's nothing gross about it. But boys are totally gross. We are. It's true. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind, though. Sadly. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. He has a silly name. He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. Nah, you're not Voldemort. I won't do Voldemort. Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. It has not been an hour. You have no time for sensibility. Do you have a watch? Or a phone? Okay, so we'll crackle up the sound there. I don't know if that's part of the effect. Hey! Evening, miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now, and trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away, but first I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? 
uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, aye. Her. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me! Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> That's misogynist. Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Aye. You're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, could we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, aye. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mum? Are you and her still close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry, this conversation's creeping me out, okay? Frowny oh, face. lassie. Uh... Ah, balls. There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down, we're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Oh, so you on fire, Tom. Here, use this lighter. Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that sounds astonishingly unsafe. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behaviour. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. Is it? <sighs> Don is a ghost! What? Where the hell did he go? Something is not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. No response. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. You can't answer. He's a bag now. Everyone is a bag. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. Nah. Cards, money, mace, the usual. Nah. Okay, that's the only works. I'm trying to open the door. Hi, Jim Sterling! Uh, Rob? Alex! Hello! You came! They said you would. You promised you'd call. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Exactly. 
so why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? You're... you're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The Earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap! Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there when you're done with the girl. Lydia? I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Put her belly. Find the key. God, I hope he beats the portrait. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. I might need this. At least, you know, everyone hasn't turned into bags yet. Hmm, there's something here. Weird, there's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A. Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Where'd you get to? Uh, uh Sophia? Fuck. Jesus. Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God. What? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his pants earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great! Carly too! Fuck this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real! I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake! Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? I say it, don't worry about it. Alex is just being her weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! I need to get to the bottom of this. A green balloon. It's just there. Only balloon in the room. Why does this seem so familiar? Sure, why not? crowd of people. I can make out some of my friends. My trusty portable radio. Only now it's on a train when it should be in my apartment. My friends. I don't know why they're on this train. Oh, my head hurts. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I, I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. You were meant to. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27. 
Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. There's a 33 year old club A, Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Shoot up? Go out in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah. You got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober. Remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just cause you've gone through some shit, just cause you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Louis fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior will bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Whoa. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Die from the window! Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey. Listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure. Whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. I feel so fucking sick. Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Huh? The music stopped. Who want to pass the parcel? What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? Oh god, they're all bags again. A huge bag. Someone's luggage. Aren't we all luggage? Deep a down? huge bag. Someone's luggage. A lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns go. Big lantern races again, I see. It's a party hat. I remember Gavin made me wear one at the party. I was wearing it when. Uh... Hold on, so he made you wear a party hat? So he could dump you while you were wearing a party hat? That's impressive. Fuck it. Why not? Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Oh, someone answered that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. The ringing isn't coming from in here. I think the ringing's coming from in here. So don't such case anymore. Hooray. I don't think I should steal it. A portrait of a sickly looking guy in a hat. I wonder who this is. <laughs> the ringing seems to be coming from here. Ah, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone, the one I got rid of a few weeks ago, and it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh god, not again. Hello? 
Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on. A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment. To party, you know, 1A. If you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy. This fucking guy. Ah. Oh, damnation. I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely you would do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not playing. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight? Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In this carriage. In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are, then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait. The guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. I'm not a ghost. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's... Okay, maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. Okay, then. There is some subtext I'm not seeing here. Oh, okay, Rob? So hey, Alex. <sighs> Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, and I was trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad... My real dad, I mean. He walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. 
But I always wondered, you know. And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? No! But it's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm! The worm inside my head! Burrowing away inside my brain! Wriggling like a grub! Rob, stop it! Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, stop. I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why, why? It wasn't me, it was Gavin. He's a no good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you, wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time, and now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me, and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the Charnel House King. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. I blame the Boglins. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel! Okay. Photos of me. Hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? My neighbor, Rob. My stalker, Rob. You think you know someone. Still alive? Nah. Okay, stab him. I'd rather try and talk my way past him first. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That I tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Okay. Right. Party hat? I don't think he'd appreciate it. <laughs> Darn! Sure that was the solution. Uh, can I stab him now? What are you doing? Let me through or I'll cut you, I swear to god. No you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Well, yeah, 
I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! Logic. Oh, shit. I could kill for a cigarette right now. I will, okay. Rob, I'm going to smoke, okay? I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine! Hmm, this could work if it was lit. I don't think he'd appreciate it. I'm kind of confused. Nah. Hmm. This could work if it was lit. Don't fucking light it. Unless I have a lit one. I have a lit one now. Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. Oh my fucking A! I'm, I'm blind! You fucking A! That's what you get, Jim. That's what you get. <laughs> Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. What were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my, my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I... I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was... Oh, God. Now, slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow. He's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. He's the one who's been calling me. Encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh, God, it's so obvious now I think about it. But... But Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> now then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> the engine of death. Only... Only... Tonight we make our last... It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. I know, but I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Who is us? Me and, well, you'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie, I'm sorry about all this. Wait, what? Uh, okay. I'd better not tamper with the machinery. Tom. Isaiah. Hey Al, how you doing? I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. 
we we were yeah i've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that well ex-boyfriend i guess now oh oh yeah that was tonight yeah yeah i'm fine that was tonight like half an hour ago yeah are you sure you're okay yeah time's time's a little fucked up for me right now don't worry about it all right sophia took carly into the other room maybe you should i don't know try and patch things up if you want last time i left it i blamed them both i was so sure so sure my friends would never talk to me about it or maybe i just wouldn't listen i need to find out what really happened maybe tonight i can make things right so in your opinion in my opinion she was all over him gavin tried to get rid of her she wasn't having any of it you walked in you walked in at the worst time right i don't know all i'm saying is from where i was standing your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it i wondered that i always did but gavin admitted it he said he wanted to end it too that he wanted to see other people he never defended himself you didn't really give him a chance to you kicked him right out oh i mean afterwards in the weeks after wait that hasn't happened here yet never mind girl you're making my head spin with this anyway my advice is go talk to carly she sobered up she'll tell you gavin did nothing wrong okay in a bit he's gone right yeah your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him real mood killer okay don't make me feel worse about it hey it was kind of funny really at least it was just a plastic cup last cup. i saw he was headed off maybe you should call him tomorrow i will tomorrow carrying catch rates have you seen rob about don't know the dude my neighbor from across the hall oh no nah. he ain't but okay oh, isaiah you remember those nuisance phone calls huh no you ain't mentioned that to me oh shit yeah they start in a few days what nothing existential crisis don't worry about it man that's the theme of the night all right okay fuck it i'm going to go talk to carly like i said she's next door with sofia okay cool have a good night isaiah peace Sorry, I accidentally clicked the right, the right button there. Uh, that seems to skip stuff. Apparently, Carly and Sophia are in here. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, Alex. You need to talk Carly down. I am Judas. I am Judas. I am Judas. She's freaking out. She. Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said, "I am Judas. I am the betrayer." <sighs> what in the blue fuck is that? Soul what? Gold. Carly. No, that dude. Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly, please. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the whore. Carly, what the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. He promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Carly, tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? You that all the fucking copy silver. Yeah. Okay, fuck that. 
Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? On the seat opposite. Oh. Voldemort's holding it. Give me the purse, Voldemort. Hey, can you understand me? <sighs> I need that bag. Can I have it? <sighs> Is this the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? Oh, let's give him a lighter. Voldemort's love lighters. Hey, how about a trade? This lighter for the bag? <laughs> dollars and four cents. Hopefully this will do. It's money anyway. Silver. I want my silver. I want a unicorn. Here, will this do? Silver. My silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Gavin wanted you and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? Not really, no. If only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if... Almost as if... We only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. Oh shit. Well, you're no fucking use, are you? Jesus. <laughs> oh, two C's open. Alex! Hey, I missed you! I keep hearing weird noises on this train. And a man keeps looking in at me through the door. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. <laughs> I want my daddy. My daddy's gonna get me from the station. He said he got me a present. I hope it's a doll. <laughs> I collect dolls. Oh. Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Oh, what's your daddy's name? My daddy's called Robert Crow. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I thought so. Do you know my daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I... Your daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This... This train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... And then I'm back on the train and we're gonna see daddy. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. That's what the man said too, but he had a doll from daddy to prove it. Okay, there really is there's no way I can, I can make that funny, so... Um, yeah. Let's just go get the doll. I don't want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. Well, let me give it to his daughter. Nah, you fucking get that. 
Locked. I can hear snoring. Lang sleeping through all of this. I envy him. No, no, he's a bag. You, you don't envy him. Hey, Lydia, I have something for you. Oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy! You really have met him! Yeah, do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just... Hey, who's that? Lydia? Lydia? Oh shit, she is a bag. Let's have a look. It's... It's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. I'll just scoop some of this dirt away. Huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. I shouldn't mess with it. Okay. Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd finally back? Cause I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the diners? Hey, hey, Floyd? Ah, yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but... But... Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. <laughs> Oh god, Gavin. To see your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah, I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. It must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow, you'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak. And we're all going home. You can thank Katerina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulchre forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Kat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up. You were so hurtful. So hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. 
Rob? Gavin? Explain. You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbour, your friend, with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove, so we could give you some time without going too far, so we could wait it out, make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have continued defiling you. I could hear you both, you know, through the walls, hear the terrible things he did to you, how he forced you to moan in pleasure, to pretend to be enjoying it, how you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I am not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Mm, tip for tat. Let's exchange stories. Yes. Yeah. She was coming to visit me. My dear, sweet Lydia. She wasn't there. We searched the train, frantically. Nobody could remember seeing her couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere. Dead. Just waiting to be found. That I couldn't save her. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that... that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. Oh, Jesus. To drug them, to knock them out, to paralyze them. A few cuts here and there, a few threats, and I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. I had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. And... And he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin, This isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone call stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. Yeah. You are fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. What is going on in here, kids? That lying fella's trying to get some sleep. You know, screaming loud enough to wake the dead. Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Hi. I see how it is. We need fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd, a whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, 
don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. I don't think he'd appreciate it. Hmm. Lloyd? Donald? I don't reckon that's how it was meant to go. Do you? Can't say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell? No! Don't! I'm sorry. I don't want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. Okay. There's a fog rolling in. I can barely see the town. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. Goddamn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. I mean, I got through that without a walk through. I'm really 
really bad at puzzle logic games. Two, three, four, three. I think most point games are narrative. Uh, narrative and That's just fucking cool. Water at the system. Okay. Slippery guy. Is it the guy? This isn't my first ever Let's Play. I hope you will enjoy it. Water well, Peak will rise. So, 2016. Well, I'm recording this 2018, so I'll have to have a look and see if they did a sequel. I don't think they mention that they did. So, yeah, that was uh, Shell House Trilogy. Apparently I missed mis mis mispronouncing Sepulchre. I thought for sure that was how you pronounce Sepulchre, but well, you live, you learn, you live, you love, and laugh. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. I am bloodied. Goodbye.